Hi, hello, my goobies. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> it's about to get pretty weird in here. <laughs> As you may or may not know, we've been struggling to pull our goal card in Darkness Ablaze. So I figured I'd invite you guys to a little something I like to do when I'm trying to pull a card desperately. And that is a summoning ceremony. As you can see from this monstrosity I tried to draw, Mr. Crow Baby eludes us, and I say, no more. So let's do it, my goobs. Just focus on your screen. Think of all the crow babies out there. Funnel your energy of crow babies into this video today. Let's hope he's in this box. <laughs> you know, I was just gonna put a picture of a bat up on the chalkboard and then I googled bats. And let me tell you, some of those are just straight up nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel. I've only seen cute pictures of bats. Like this one, he's kinda cute, right? So today, my goobs, we're just gonna hope we pulled a crow baby. We haven't pulled a regular one or a full art one. So hopefully he's in here. The one card I want, I still have yet to pull him. So let's hope the Pokemon gods bless me today. <laughs> Low key, I sound like a dying Pikmin in this clip. <laughs> also huge humongous shout out to the sponsors of this channel you guys are what keep me going potown store and flipsidegaming.com potown you can get any code cards you need for the online game i strongly strongly recommend you guys play online if you play tcg because it'll help you become so much of a better player you can get all of your code cards without having to buy any packs from potown store and if you use code pokeboo you can get five percent off of your purchase as well. Flipside Gaming, my loves, have been so amazing for my channel. We're doing giveaways for the new sets for you guys. If you use code Pokeboo, you get 10% off your orders and entered in to win our latest giveaway, which ends on the 30th of this month of September, and that's for a Champion's Path ETB. If you use my code for anything $10 and above, you could win one of those. Even outside of the giveaways, they have sealed Pokemon TCG products. You can buy singles for your decks from their site, and they have free Pokemon TCG articles from some amazing writers. They're just super bomb. They've helped my channel so much, so I'm very, very glad to have them as a sponsor, and I hope you guys enjoy using them just as much as I do. Before I get into this booster box, a bunch of people have asked me about my setup and have showed interest in like what my setup is like, how I edit videos and things like that. So if you guys would like to see a video like that, let me know. And if you have any questions or specific things you'd like me to talk about in a video like that, also let me know in the comments because I've been thinking about making one of these and because I just upgraded a bunch of stuff on my setup, I figured I could go through that all with you. I'd probably go into details of like what programs I use, what the settings are for them, uh, what cameras and lighting equipment I have. Speaking of my setup though, huge shout out to Five Fine. They sent me this awesome microphone and it's improved my audio quality like tenfold. I love Five Fine. I've worked with them for years and they've supplied me with just amazing quality microphones for a way more affordable price than some of like the super big brand microphones. And I honestly think Five Fine's quality is like a billion times better. Not to mention it comes in this super cute smiley face box. <laughs> I'm actually gonna link this microphone as well in the description because Five Fine's bomb, even though I'm not sponsored by them, but they make good mics. So yeah, my goops, if you have any questions about my setup, I will try to include them in that video that I'll be working on, so. Let's do this. Let's open up this booster box. I'm so ready to pull this crow baby. Hopefully all of your good juju comes to this box. And pulled me a bat boy. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, we have an entire booster box to open. So buckle in, buckaroonies. And let's hope, hope that the first pack is something good. It's either gonna be something good or something super whack. I don't know, let's see. We got a cute little ferret. Starly, Skarmory, Pansage. 
Electric, Fletchling, <gasps> Reverse Holo Electric Boy, and <gasps> oh, Santa Baby, my boy. Yes, yes, I will collect as many of these as I can. This is an awesome, awesome deck. I think I've explained this guy in one of my other videos, so I'm not going to go into what he does, but he's by far my favorite deck to play out of Darkness Ablaze. Space Bump Energy, my goobs, the first one of the day. Here we go, Heat Energy, Mr. Mime Grimer. Dude, that means our first pack was not whack. That is so awesome. Let's see if we can keep it going. Reverse Hollow Passimian and, <gasps> oh, a holographic, Melodic, Melodic, Fish Boy. <laughs> That's two white packs, two white packs, and another fist bump energy. That is super hype. Zwellius, a familiar bell. Uh, also, as many turbo patches as I can get, I still am lacking severely in the turbo patch department. Reverse holo wishy washy and <gasps> Serena, non holographic. All right, <gasps> fire energy, turkey boy. As well, yes, and Jigglypuff. I'm just so hyped today. I don't know why I'm so hyped. Clink, Marini, Torchic, <gasps> Reverse Hollow, good Mimikyu. This is actually a super awesome. This is our second one, the Reverse Hollow uh, Mimikyu that blocks healing. So, super cute. And. <gasps> Hi, Dragon! Let's see how many reverse holo rares we can get. Last time we had so many. I feel like we pulled like eight reverse holo rares. It was crazy. See if we can beat that record today, my goobs. Heat energy, Paras, Larvitar, Golette, ugly little free bash boy. <laughs> like what? He looks like he's drowning, but he's a fish, bro. He just looks like he's struggling to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude. Purloin. Arctazolt. Yes. Dude, this is my second reverse holo Arctazolt. So happy about that. And <gasps> hip it down. I always get so lucky with the reverse holo rares. And I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Lunatone. Larvesta. Siesta. Galette. Skitty. Oh my god. Wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fail. Boo, fail. Reverse all Corvus Squire and oh, sweet coon. I think I'm just so hyped right now because I found out I can do ray tracing in Minecraft on the Minecraft beta. Um, I know. Roast me in the comments for playing Minecraft. I already know it's coming, okay? <laughs> I've accepted it. I'm a Minecraft nerd, all right? Um, but it is like, it's like night and day difference, dude. It is insane. Like, look at this. Regular Minecraft. Ray tracing Minecraft. Oh my god, look how beautiful! And my Minecraft dude's a cute little appa. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm like so hyped about it. I'm nerding out hardcore with Minecraft lately. Reverse holo for it and. <gasps> Big Salamander Burr! Oh my goodness, yes. I think this is the second time we've pulled the full art Salamance. Apparently a lot of people have been pulling him, uh, but I mean, dang. As many full arts as you could possibly get in a booster box. I will take him, I will take him. Still got a lot of packs to get through everybody. Usually I don't get super nervous until we're like further into the booster box and we've only pulled like four things and I'm just like <gasps> what's gonna happen? You little ducklet even though he looks like he's seen seen some things and uh yeah. Carablast. Uh <laughs> chunky little Darbaka boy. So cute. Larvitar. Reverse hollow Squovit and <gasps> Agron! Holographic boy. That is one for the holographic rares. Oof. I'm not liking this right now. Usually when you get a bunch of holographic rares, I feel like you get less like good pulls. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this actually is a nine box. Knock on wood. And uh, I'm just, I'm just tripping over here. Glim, Glimwood Tangle. It sounds like some sort of I don't know, some like suburban neighborhood. Welcome to the peaceful Glimwood Tangle, where on an average day, you can see children running in the street, or your neighbor Bob grilling up some tasty burgers. <laughs> That's really what it sounds like though. It's like Glimwood Tangle, where everyone permanently smiles. <laughs> Grimer, reverse holo. Nick had got a ticket, and... Oh, Santa Baby, 
VMAX to go with our boy as well. Yo, that is super hype. Our boy, baby boy, and his papa. Woo! So cute. I will be showing you guys um, what this deck actually plays like in our live stream this weekend. Dude! I'm so excited and so nervous too. I haven't live streamed in a hot minute and I'm so excited to see everybody live and actually get to uh, hopefully play some games. So if you guys play TCG and you want to play some matches, that'd be super fun to, to get to play with you guys. I'll be doing some giveaways as well if you guys want some spicy giveaways. I'm so excited. Electrike, Reverse Hollow Pan Sage. Dude, I think I saw something. I think I saw something. Oh. Oh, it's just rock boy. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it's still a V, still a V card. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy, happy about it, but it's not a crow baby, man. It's just a rock boy. Either a majority of these are going to be green cards or we just have some sort of insane box. That's like a 10 box, which would be bananas. Absolutely bananas. Okay. Squovit, chunky bird. This is what I look like, you guys, when I'm at home. Just eating food and editing videos. This is me. Look how happy I am. Oh my gosh, Spinarak. Reverse hollow AA Ron's dad. Little Larry and <gasps> Volcarona. Remember at my 10K celebration uh, with Taco and I clutched guessing Volcarona like last second. And he's a giant moth fire type. Mo a moth fire type. Yeah. Vol, Vol, yeah. Voltron. Close. <laughs> Volcarona. Yes. yes. Good job. All right, that's it. It's Voltron now, you guys. Not Vol Volcarona anymore. It's Voltron. Bunnelby Vanillites. Reverse Hollow Capju. And <gasps> a Scavalier. Oh my gosh. When are they going to make this dude into a V card or any sort of special? I feel like I've never seen a special version of this bro. You know what he reminds me of? Especially in this artwork, in this stance? The Abyss Watchers from Dark Souls 3. Dude, how did I not see that before? He looks just like him. I don't know why I like that dude so much, but I just, I just do. I can't explain it, okay? All right, I'm feeling good about this pack, you guys. I'm feeling it. Come on, baby, Shelmet. Oh no! Never mind. So we got scary looking Galarian Dormanitan. Like, I don't even. He's a rare, but I don't even want to put him in the stack. Because he's so nightmare fuel. And. Yep, you ruined it, Dormanitan. Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> oh, I want a Crobat so, so bad, you guys. I just want to move on with our goal card. Like, Crow Baby. Come on, man. A little cute little A.A. Ron Rowlet. Diggly path. Cute little diglet. <gasps> Poopatar. Reverse hollow. And. <gasps> oh my god. The boys? The boys? This is like almost identical to my other booster box that I opened. Didn't I open a booster box just like this? Wait, but in that box, that's the box we pulled the Eternatus in. The, the Secret Rare Eternatus. Dude, if we pull Secret Rare Eternatus. Stop, I'm gonna freak out. It'd be like the same exact box, I think. <gasps> no, maybe I'm confusing opening the ETBs. I don't know, I had to look back at that video. We got Clang, Reverse Hollow, and... Oh, Arctazolt, adding him. We got his Reverse Hollow, now we have his Hollow. I mean, honestly, if we pulled another Secret Rare Eternatus VMAX, I, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, all right. <laughs> Sick. That's like the only one that really hasn't dropped too significantly in price because I mean the secret rare of any card is going to be is, is kind of going to hold its price for the most part unless it's just a super trash card I guess uh, or for some reason it becomes trash. Grimer, uh, reverse hollow Wimpod. What are you doing Wimpod? And <gasps> Kling Kling! Non-holographic. Man why, why do I keep pulling this dude? I don't like him. Look at the shenanigans dude. Can I get a clang? Can I get a clang? Can I get a clink clang? Clink clang. <laughs> this is actually rare and I didn't even put it in the rare sack. Oh man, poor clink clang fans. I apologize, you guys. Um, I'm a jerk. <laughs> I'm a jerk to the clink clangs in the world. Purloin, turkey boy, gothorita, reverse hollow, and... <gasps> 
flag on. You guys should see my room after I get done opening a booster box. It's a mess. It is a hot mess. Let me tell you what. Bunnelby, vanilla baby, Lunatone, reverse hollow, not a rare, and <gasps> Mark, Mr. McBoy, stuck in the mud, having a very bad day. Ooh, fist bump energy. Maybe that means good luck. Probably not though. Maybe I'm just gonna jinx it per usual. Bunnelby. Toxel, cutie, Sinisty, Caparaja, Reverse Hollow Rare, baby, and <gasps> oh, Eternatus V. Yes, yes, I will take these any day of the week. I mean, the price on them has dropped pretty significantly uh, <laughs> since the release of the Eternatus boxes. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I opened three Eternatus boxes, and it was super duper hype. I actually built the deck online as well, and uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to test it out. I mostly just kind of looked for a build and built the one that I liked, but still gotta test it out, and I'll let you know, you guys know how I like it. But we are gonna be playing it in the live stream. Reverse Hollow, Dracovish, and <sighs> Hoopa! Holographic, boom, boom. We have six pulls right now. Six pulls, and look how many packs we have left. So this, this has to be, a good box. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. No way we don't get at least one more pull. Um, which honestly, eh, that wouldn't be a good box. Seven hits? That'd be like average. So we need like three more pulls. Three more pulls. Can we do it? We gotta steal Turkey Boy, kill AA Ron. Oh my gosh, reverse hole AA Ron and <gasps> Talon Flame. Another turkey berry. Steel energy, cape of toughness, powerful energy, Morlol, wishy washy, Kufant, Dino, Panseer, reverse hollow bird keeper, dude! That is hype. We're gonna put that dude. Wow, that's actually our first reverse hollow rare trainer. Dang, usually I pull a lot more than that. Um, and then, oh, I'm, wow, I was like, I'm pro, you guys. I'm pro at opening packs. Come on, we just need like a couple more good pulls. <gasps> Mr. Mime, Torchic. I mean, even though we have like pretty much a repeat box all together as the other box I opened, I'm still happy because these are really good cards that I'm pulling. So, Wishy Washy, Zwellius. Ooh, I thought he was rare. And, <gasps> oh, Nacho Libre. At least we have like a good spread of packs. So it's not just like, oh, I open all. All green packs. Turbo patch, baby! My one. My one turbo patch for the box. Finally. <laughs> Dartrix. Passimian. Fletchling. Wimpond. Grimy boy. Clink. Feebass reverse hollow. And... <gasps> ah! Dractazolt. Non-holographic. No! Black Mamba. Ferret. Yellhorn. Flappy boy. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I can't open cards today. Why am I trash? Cute little Teddy Ursa. <gasps> Pansier. Cute font. Reverse hello. And. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, no! No! But yeah, usually when I open these, it's like green pack, green pack, green pack. It's pretty much just like a montage. Why can't I open packs today? <laughs> I give up. I think I'm so nervous. I'm just like tripping over these cards. Okay, slow down. <sighs> Let's do this. The Dene. Don't drop that. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. <laughs> Cute font. Dino. Panseer. Lugia. Oh. Ugh. Three more good pulls. We need three more good pulls, and I need to learn how to open packs delicately and not just throw them around the room. <laughs> Rowlet, Wishy Washy, Cufant, Sinisty, Feebas, Reverse, Hollow, Gothita, and. Oh! Butt face boy! <laughs> I'm scared, you guys. Spike Move, The Bird Keeper, Steeny Bobini, Grimer, Clink, Skitty. Pan Sage, Mr. Mime, Reverse Hollow. <gasps> oh! Oh! One pull, one pull, two more to be a nine box. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've explained Vika Volt to you guys though. I'm pretty sure this is our first Vika Volt 
that we've pulled. I have not done an explanation on him, so we're gonna jump into that. But first... Someone just subbed to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it scared me so much. Thank you to whoever just subbed to my channel. I appreciate you. But anyway, for everyone that calls this dude Vikavolt, let me ask you one question. Okay, this is serious. What do you say? Do you say Pikachu? Or do you say Pikachu? So why do you call him Vikavolt? <laughs> It's Vikavolt! I swear, it's gotta be Vikavolt. There's no way it's Vikavolt. That makes no sense to me. I've been pretty excited to explain this broski to you guys on the channel because I haven't really explained a deck like this and Vikavolt is an interesting deck to say the least. So this deck is considered to be a control slash stall deck. Uh, mainly a control deck because you're controlling the fact that they cannot play item cards from their hand. So as long as you use the Paralyzing Bolt, they can no longer play any item cards. That means no Quick Balls, no uh, Turbo Patch, no Switch, no, any, no Metal Saucer, none of the essential cards that a lot of decks play nowadays. So the main goal of a Vikavolt deck is to stop your opponent from being able to do their normal actions, which hopefully slows them down enough or just stalls them out completely to where you control the entire game yourself. You can use special condition cards in this deck like Yellhorn, which confuses both you and your opponent's active Pokemon, but the difference is you can switch out and get rid of that confusion, whereas they can not play a switch because you're item locking them and then you can also play like galler mine which makes their retreat cost cost more so they can't retreat they can't hard retreat they can't switch so they're just stuck and active so if they have the energy they can still attack but they have to flip a coin and if they flip tails then they do damage to themselves you could even just play vikavolt in another electric deck where you put him up and slow down your opponent while you charge up some other pokemon on your bench there's just so many different ways you can play vikavolt as a main deck or just in another deck uh, but the main purpose of this Pokemon or this deck is to just control your opponent's actions so that they can't play the game how they want to play the game and hopefully you can steer it enough in your direction to win the game. The downsides of playing a deck like this is your games take significantly longer uh, because you're just chipping away slowly at your opponents and they're not able to do moves and you can only do so much damage. So that's going to take a while. Also, if you don't get set up fast enough, like you're not item locking as soon as you possibly can. So pretty much like your second turn, if not your first turn, if you go second, then you could hinder yourself quite a bit because they could just play, they, they see you're playing Vikavol and they play as many item cards as they can because they don't want to get item locked and then they could set themselves up potentially to still beat you as long as they have enough resources out on their first couple of turns. So you just need to item lock as soon as you possibly can. But yeah, this deck is kind of a different play style. I personally don't usually play mill decks or control decks, but I've actually been having a lot of fun uh, playing my weird version of this deck and and I, I really dig it, so I would definitely say try it out if you have the cards to, to build a version of Vikavol. This might just be a 7 box, or we could still have Fist Bump Energy, the secret rare. You guys, we still have not pulled a secret rare. Girl, I want a secret rare. If this doesn't have a secret rare, I'm going to be so upset. Ugh. Oh. Booster boxes always have a secret rare. I mean, not always, they're not guaranteed, but most of the time you get one secret rare. Ugh, I'm gonna be so sad. Ah, oh, turkey boy, no. Which one? Let's do this one. Come on. I'm like so, my heart right now is like. <laughs> leaf, leaf energy. Struggle gloves my entire life. Golet, uh, vanillite, trap inch. Teddy Ursa, Panseer, Simi, Simi Sage, and... Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I thought it was a Crobat! Bro, I thought it was a Crobat! No! No! No, I mean, it's still cool. It's still cool. It's the Rhyperior Full Art. We have not pulled this Broski yet. Man, the bros! You guys, the bros today, what is going on? What is going on? Dude, I thought he was a Crobat, man. Honestly, I can't even be mad right now, though, because we've pulled eight things, and these are very playable cards. Like, these are all major decks in the current meta, so I can't even be upset. 
I can't. I mean, Rhyperior isn't as highly played, but I still needed him for collective purposes, so I'm happy. Man, I'm like running out of room over here. Struggle bus of having so many pulls, am I right? Dude! <gasps> turbo patch! We got a second turbo patch? What? Wow, that alone makes this a good a, a good box. <laughs> Two turbo patches. <laughs> Ripperoni. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure these are both. These are both most likely going to be green packs, um, sadly. So sad. I wanted the Crobat so bad, you guys. Reverse Hollow Rare Fossil and... Oh, Bird Boy Decidueye Turkey Boy. So it was a white pack. I was wrong. It was a white pack, but it was not another pull. I think, I think this is going to be it for us, my goobs. All right, moment of truth. Hiding energy, Fletch Endure, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, Torchic, Reverse Hollow Teddy Ursa, and <gasps> oh my god, a Crowley! No, I'm just kidding. It's just a Manectric. <laughs> Reperoni and Cheese. The summoning of the Crow Baby did not work for us, my goose. But we still got this super cute Teddy Ursa. <laughs> <laughs> really though, we got so many playable V cards, and then the fact that we got two V maxes, two V maxes, and two full arts as well, of pretty much matching our bros. The only difference is the Eternatus V, but look at this, you guys. The bros. Dude, another subscriber. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who stuck around. For the end of this video or through the entire video, that helps bunches and bunches. So, you the MVPs. I can't wait to see you guys this weekend for the live stream. I'll be posting all the info about what time it's gonna be on my social media pages. So, if you don't follow me there, go ahead, give me a follow. I'll probably stalk your account. And thank you so much to all my patrons that keep my channel going as well as my sponsors and all the people who watch this video and like and comment. I appreciate you guys so much. Virtual hugs. Yay. <laughs> and until next time, my goofs, I will catch you on the flip side. Bye -bye.